So back in the day, my mother and father gave me and my brothers a bunch of chores to do around the house. And in return, we could eat and sleep in the house. Of course, I had to make my bed each day. That was a given. I had to take out the garbage every third day, and I had to dust, which I hated. I mean, what exactly is dust, and why do I have to wipe it away? My point is I wish I had drones back then, because now they do the dusting. But apparently, they only dust crops. Here's Adam Yamaguchi to harvest the details. It takes hard work and methodical planning to grow the foods that feed the world. One method used for decades to deliver vital nutrients and pesticides to fields are crop dusting airplanes, but they can be expensive and dangerous. Now, drone technology has opened up a new frontier for crop management. I wing my way south to Houston, Texas to meet aeronautics engineer Arthur Erickson, co-founder of a company called Helio to learn more about their custom-built crop dusting drones. So what is the crop spraying drone? Basically, it is a fully autonomous flying machine that automates precision agriculture tasks for farmers and applicators in the agricultural industry. So what are those tasks? Pesticide application to protect your crops against bugs or funguses, fungi I should say, fertilizing, even just crop scouting, identifying what issues you have with your crops and how you could help. You've got to worry about payload. You've got all sorts of tasks that this drone has to do. So where did you start? We started with the simple like engineering questions. What's the cheapest, most effective, and reliable way to get a payload over these crops? So we just kind of built the drones up from there. Part of our development challenge was saying, how do you take this incredibly complicated machine, but make the input controls to it simple enough for someone out in the field to use day in and day out without worry going into the planning process. So Adam, we've got multiple models. Arthur here. showed me one of the many drones they build in-house to help farmers achieve healthy crop yields. This is our AG122. It's one of our largest models. It's got eight rotors on it. It can lift close to 300 pounds all up. Right here in the very top here, you've got the brains of the drone, so you can't see them. But in there, there's a flight controller, so that's where all the artificial intelligence, the machine learning, the intelligent routing, all that is happening right here. Beneath the drone, actually, you've got all the spray system, which is how we deliver the actual chemicals onto the crops. We loaded up the drone and headed out to a local field to see it in action. Arthur manually controlled the drone at first. And there I go, taking right off. And here I'm gonna to toggle the to spray. So right now, it is spraying, it's, again, I hard see to see, yeah, but it see is it coming well. out there, and you can see how well it can cover the crops here. So that downwash from the propeller is really pushing that mist down. I was gonna say, there's a little bit of wind, but I can see the mist going straight down. Now this, you are controlling manually, but one of the great features of this is you can set it on auto and Correct. just walk away. Yeah, 99% of the time, this drone's out flying itself. After a few quick adjustments, the drone was ready to fly autonomously. Arm and take off. So you basically just set a predefined area for it to do its thing? Correct. Give it some boundaries, give it a dosage to target, click take off, and it's gonna go do its thing. Can we go grab some lunch? Yeah, let's go. 